expand your mind and shrink your ego. Before you act, think. Before you speak, listen. Before you demand, give. Before you fight, heal. Before you believe, question. Before you doubt, trust. Before you trust, observe. Before you write, read. This is a quote that I came across by, and I'm, I'm hoping to get the name right. It's Dwitaya Sengaputa. And I'll put the name in the comments as well. And it goes beautifully with today's life lesson. And the lesson is this. Learn about the things you have confirmation bias towards and shrink your ego. Because fact of the matter is, friends, we're not always right. And our way of just that immediate feeling that you get like, oh, I just want to prove myself right. You may be experiencing confirmation bias in that circumstance. So more specifically, for those of you who are not familiar with confirmation bias, Confirmation bias is essentially our tendency to seek out, interpret, focus on, recall information in such a way that confirms our belief system and what we essentially are preconceptions. Essentially, you're looking to find a way to be right, whether it be in conversation, situation, and this doesn't have to always be with other people. It could be with yourself. I can tell you that confirmation bias for me, this has played a role in my body conversation throughout the decades. So certainly confirmation bias doesn't need to be that other people are involved. Keep that one in mind. This one thing right here, this concept of confirmation bias it can impact in so many ways of life, of how we view things, of how we interact in relationships, of how we interact with ourselves. And I'm not the expert in this area, but I can tell you as a life lesson, it is one that I still to this day consciously watch out for because I know if I'm getting stuck in that confirmation bias, it's going to cause me either roadblocks, unnecessary arguments, or other amounts of discomfort that are just not worth it for me. Fact is, is confirmation bias can impact our decision making. Again, it can impact our relationships. It can impact our work. Keeping in mind that there could be other right ways of doing, thinking, or being is always super important. So life lesson of the day, confirmation bias. A couple easy steps that you can start looking at for yourself. When you find yourself in that conversation of, you know, the feeling like, oh, I just got to be right on this. Take a pause for a minute and just ask yourself, am I stuck in my own way of thinking? Could this other person's way of thinking also be right from their point of view, from their perspective? And if so, where could you maybe find a middle ground? Or perhaps, where could you just agree that you have different life experiences? Or how can you learn about them and their experiences? And maybe it'll really unlock perspective in your life and your way of being. I am so, although it was messy when I learned this concept early in my leadership career, I'm so glad I learned it when I did because it has been a game changer in understanding human behavior, understanding my teams, understanding my clients. And again, it can save a lot of headaches. And I have to reinforce one other thing. Keep in mind this phrase and concept as it relates to you, your internal self and your internal biases and your internal body, especially, especially if you're in that body conversation. And when you get stuck feeling whatever BS stories you have in your head, ask yourself, what confirmation biases am I looking to live into right now? And what is it time to change? You'll be so glad that you did. 
As always, if you ever need help, support, or have any comments, leave them here. See you here next time. Thanks, guys.